Hi everyone, I just thought I would give a quick update on, uh, actually this is the first video log of uh, my 10 gallon setup that uh, decided to set up in our entrance. As you can see we have this large wood structure, well it's made of I guess 2 by 4s and, and uh, um, sheetrock that basically it's where our stairs heading downstairs are. Uh, sticking out, then I just thought, well, what a what a perfect space to actually put a, a nice small tank in. So we set up a, I just set up a 10 gallon here, and um, just thought I'd show you what I have in here. So I have some um, a um, a dwarf gourami right here in the back. That's quite nice and colorful, and uh, a white skirt tetra right here. In the middle, and uh, five uh, black skirt tetras that are all over the place. Actually, all of these tetras were given to me by a really ni a nice guy named Gord in Halifax. He said he didn't really know how old they were and how old they were, and basically whether you know they could live a couple of weeks or they could live a couple of years. It's really hard to tell. But um, I also got these um, really nice. Um, a long fin bristle nose um, albino plecos. I'll try to I'll try to zoom in here a bit. Show you what they look like. I mean they're quite juvenile, but I got I got four of these guys, so the plan is to keep only one in this thing per se, once they're fully grown. Um, but I got four because they were a really good deal and they look really good and there's another one here in the back, um, and uh, also, uh, yeah. And the plan is to basically just keep the one and and uh, sell the other three, or or bring in the different tank. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll end up in another tank. But um, the other, oh, there's one here. Here's it goes. There's a nice, there's a nice pleco here. So yeah, look at that. Also got these uh, Malaysian trumpet snails. Um, well, this one here is on the window. They're usually not on the windows. They're only supposed to come up if your water is really dirty, but but it's not. So they, they can come up once in a while. But uh, if they come up en masse, if there were, uh, I have twelve in my tank. So if a lot of them actually started coming up, I would have to start worrying. And also got these shrimps. They're called uh, red cherry shrimps, and uh, I've had them for. I guess three or four days now. Their colors have really, uh, really started coming out, and I have, um, I think, about fifteen of these guys in here. Um, so, yeah, there's another, another snail here, another Malaysian trumpet snail, and uh, look at the, look at the shrimp. You know, they, they move around quite a bit, and. They're really quite fun to watch. Needless to say, this this setup is really a hit with my son. He really uh, really enjoys the shrimps and the and the plecos and, and there's a fisher in the back too. So we may stock a little bit more. Uh, we had two dwarf garamis and my wife is out tonight getting a replacement because one died. But uh, we'll have a couple in there. And, yeah, it's a pretty it's a pretty well stocked uh, pretty well stocked ten gallon. So. Uh, there it is. There you have it. My uh, first video log of a uh, our 10 gallon in our entrance.